And welcome back to Adobe Live. We made it back. <sighs> the internet broke here at OFF in Barcelona. And uh, you know, this is what you get when you put 5,000 people into one place. Boom, everything breaks. But we're back, and we hope we can stay back for Olivier Huard. Hey, mm. Olivier. Hi. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And you, and I, I was just thinking, oh, shit. I, I hope I'm not speaking French right now. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, we're back, and we're going to be talking about pixel art. And pixel art is something I actually met Olivier quite some years ago. Yes. I don't think we had white beard no, then. No, not yet. And, um, and I was amazed by his his three-dimensional pixel art. It had like grids and things, and, and then he also participated in one of us in our um, Adobe Creative Jams. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you won that one. Uh, no, we were the second. The we, second yeah, one. The second oh, okay. One. Do you remember who was first? Uh, to be honest, no. Okay. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry for the winner. I don't remember okay. your name. <laughs> well, anyway, until um, until yeah, for the next. 30 minutes, we're going to be talking about pixel art. And there's been quite an evolution in, uh, in Olivier's work. Actually, Olivier also worked for us at Adobe uh, since last year. Yes, last year. more than yeah. one year now. So he joined the team, and he's now part of the Adobe family as well. But before that, he, he did that pixel art. So let's, let's have a quick, yeah, give a little bit of introduction. What is pixel art and what it is that you do? Oh, and okay. So, do you still have your pixel art that you did for the Creative Jam somewhere? Oh, yes. It, this ah, one. Ah, there we go. That's it. Yeah. Oh, first. Uh, first Creative Jam ah, in Paris. Ah, that's clickbait right there. Yes. Okay. Yes. So here, I think you will find the steps. But here is uh, the the pixel art I did with my friend uh, Nask. Um, mm -hmm. We spent nearly four hours to do that. It was a very good test to work mm. together and to use some very good trips, uh, tips and tricks to, to be more productive. And uh, yes, uh, pixel art came from the oldies. And mm -hmm. first of all, pixel art was an obligation uh, because you, you didn't have choice to use pixel art to create graphic for the computer. Mm. But now, of course, with the evolution, you have uh, all the pixels that you want, but I'm still using very, very low resolution mm -hmm. to create uh, fun stuff. So okay. that's it. Like, is it called like 8 bit stuff or 16 bit? Uh, 8, 8 bit 8 and bit? sometimes even 1 bit stuff. 1 bit? Yes. Okay. I'm also doing Can you explain a little bit of the difference? Yes, 1 bit, it's only black and white. Uh -huh, okay. uh, li yes. Like the mm -hmm. old uh, Nokia, for example, and uh, uh, old also. Or the first Game Boys? Yeah, uh, the first Game Boys is 2 bit because you have uh, uh, grays. Four, yeah, four, yeah yes. two black, white, and 2 grays. Yeah. And that's the difference. And yeah. <laughs> So the more you have, the more you can uh, do. But uh, you can. It, it's better to do eight bit. I prefer to do eight bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, That's cool. It. All right. Show us some of that pixel art, and you know, I always I immediately get the the vibe of um, of games, and uh, you know, from from our youth. But yeah, but it's definitely a style that you know that that can be used on many different kinds of. Of yes. Applications. Yes. You can you can use it in in many different way, and you can do pixel art with a lot of different things. You can do pixel art, of course, with a computer, with uh, paper, with uh, even with coin. If you are Lego, Lego, of course, Lego. Yes. And with coin and with uh, uh, a beer cap, and you mm -hmm. can imagine whatever you want mm -hmm. with post it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, many years ago, there are the mm -hmm. post it walls uh -huh. where ah, people created. Yeah, yes. Uh, yes. On the on the on, on the on office windows. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Yeah. And yes, there is a lot of possibilities. That's, that's what it's fun. But I prefer to work uh, digitally. OK. Uh, maybe I can show you, for example, this kind of thing. It's a really good exercise because I decided to recreate all the Street Fighter II uh, characters in only 16 by 16 pixel. OK. So it was a little bit tricky because, as you can see, it's hard to identify characters. But I think I. Uh, I did the job, so it's, it was really cool to create. There is a more smaller version. And then, of course, the smaller they become, the more, the more you recognize them, right? Yes, mm -hmm. that is, and that's a good point because you can create uh, um, a very big pixel art, and if you are very, very close to the pixel, you will not mm -hmm. see the, the, the entire 
pictures. If, if you are not uh, uh, in front of the pixel art, you will see the entire... Ah, yeah. so, sorry, sometimes my English... Yeah, uh, that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, I can show you, oh, there is a, a, a project which is very important for me. Maybe the Star Wars thing, because it's, oh. it's, it's May the 6th today. Yeah, May the 6th, we are a yeah. little bit late, but oh, okay. Yes. Uh, May the 6th? There's, oh yeah, yes. there is May the 6th. Yes. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I prefer May the 4th. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, in this visual, I decided to create something different, because of course it's a pixel art, but I try to use different size of pixel. Ah. One pixel in the background has not the same size uh, in his representation and in this one and in the front, very front uh, picture. You can see the pixel are bigger than the, this one mm. and than this one. It was really, really tricky to, to test, but it's cool. There is some detail. To create a sense of depth yes, and that you typically don't get in pixel art, right? Yes, and it, it was to create um, a, uh, the same thing like imagine you create the pixel art and you cut it out mm -hmm. in paper and you, you place it on different layer and you will see the first one will have big pixel of course because it's near to you and the, 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 the background will be very very small. Um, there, there is some detail. Uh, another project that I really love is the floating city. I was very lucky because uh, the, the city where uh, printed into the book Master of Pixel Art, oh. Volume 3. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a really, really nice collection. If you love mm -hmm. pixel art, you have to, to have a look at this book. And uh, I decided to create uh, a floating city in, mm. in, the, in, in the mine, like, like Miyazaki can do with, mm -hmm. with, with rocks and water. And so I decided to imagine, uh, for the moment, only four cities. There is London, mm -hmm. you can see some detail. And of course, I did all the things uh, pixel one by one or with a line or something like that, but it's one by one pixel. Uh. Yeah, and well, like Stuart says right here, when, I, when he was a kid, I used to draw pixel art on yeah. a ZX Spectrum. Oh, yeah. One yeah. pixel at a time. That was where it all started for me. Yeah, I yeah. started on, my, uh, on a French computer, M05, and I had an optical a pen, a optical pen is uh, when you touch the screen, uh -huh. it cut out the the the, 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 the la not the laser but the the signal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So you will you will be able, you was able to create a mm -hmm. pixel with this. And there is so Paris, of, of course, course, of course, and uh, um, you can New York. Do you do sketches before you start? Um, your work, or do you just start? Uh, it depends. It depends. For example, uh, I can show you my last project, last FM station. Ah, I so in, in a 3D? Yes, and this is the first time I use this mm -hmm. way of doing this. I decided to test using Blender to create mm -hmm. a very quick, quick uh, sketch and just wrote, uh, draw the outline and after that, uh, a classical technique. And just to finish, I decided to animate the LED panel. I also I created a lot of different stuff. I'm also still creating uh, visual art uh, for the Commodore 64. It's not mm -hmm. the same way of creating mm -hmm. things because one pixel is two pixel by uh, two two pixel uh, width by one eighth. So oh, wow. you've you've got rectangle in same. So they're not square. They're not square, mm. and you have a high, very high limitation in color. You mm. can can't have more than four colors in an eight by eight block. Ah. So you have to adjust uh, your, the, the placement of your color. Um, what else can I show you? There is a lot of things to do. This is, um, this is you can see all the steps of this creation. Ah, yes. This is yes. This is this creation now is nine or nine years old, I think, and it was for a, a French exposition uh, at the Grand Palais. Uh, it was about the game story, the story of the video game. Mm -hmm. So I was commissioned by the Grand Palais to create the, 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 the main picture of the exposition and you have the final rendering. There is a lot, a lot of uh, inspiration of video game, of, of course. You have some... Only, only geek people can know that. Ah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a Konami but code. Yeah. I'll let you search on the web. It's yeah, a yeah. Konami code. The Konami code. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I'm also creating when I'm on the go, for example, with uh, an application on my phone, I draw directly on the phone. So for example... What is the app called? Dot pick. Dot pick. It's a free app. It's really cool. The, the UX is very well, well uh, imagined, very easy to use. And so I decided to create a lot, a lot of uh, 32 by 32 pictures because it's a very high constraint and mm -hmm. I love that. And uh, you have only 16 color. So I, you can see a lot of different things. Uh, of course, reference to video game, Outrun, Overwatch, uh, Bubble Bubble, and so on. And I think that's, that's the, interesting about, uh, the interesting thing about pixel art is that it has so many constraints that it, ha it forces you to think very, s s not simplistically, simply. It's yeah. like you have to really like make choices. OK, what do I keep and what do I let go? And I think that's, that's also a very good meditation kind of yes, thing, right? Yes, <laughs> it's a very good exercise, and it's, it's the same. Uh, with this mm -hmm. eye, those eye constraint, you are obliged to select the color you will use mm -hmm. and where to put the right color mm -hmm. to have the right effect. Do, do, I, do I do this uh, anti-aliasing effect? Yes, I know, even if you just have uh, 32 by 32, it's really, really small. Mm -hmm. um, these are different things. Another C64 picture that I did. Um, very, very different way of doing things. And I really like very, very high constraint. Here is a sample of something I did. It's uh, an animation, only f uh, five color and 10 pixel eight. Mm -hmm. But you can see some uh, a character running smoothly. And that's the fun part. Yeah. The walk cycle, that's always the difficult thing to do in animation, yes, right? Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. yes. And especially on a very, very small size. Mm -hmm. And PJ Castle says, my mother was, my mother-in-law is knitting blankets and she showed me a pattern I wasn't really fond of. Then I showed her, then I showed her some art I had, I had down and she's going to knit it. Yeah, knitting is also pixel art, right? Yes, yeah? sure, it's, sure, it's yeah. also pixel art. Mm -hmm. We have about 20 minutes left. Yeah. Why don't you show us some, some of your tips and tricks in yeah, Photoshop? Sure, like okay. what, what do you have to, like how do you set up your workspace? And, and I see already that you have libraries and things yes, like that, of, of things that you yeah. reuse or yes. you start from scratch every time? Uh, I, I'm re reusing mm. some stuff. And first of all, I'm, of course, I'm creating a, a, a very small size. For example, in that case, it's a just 100, 100 by 100 pixel, really okay. cool to, mm -hmm. to create an Instagram post, for example. And I'm using the pen with just one pixel. I also have a very, very good li um, brushes. I also ah. have some brushes. Uh, this is my friend Nask who created those brushes and mm -hmm. I helped him. And you have, it's easy to have, ah, yes, 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 it's easy to have the, the right one. And especially if you are creating isometric visual, Ah, yes, it's instead of making yes, like one yes, dot at the yes. time. Yeah. You can earn a lot of time. So we have the point, we have the line, the different angle, mm -hmm. and you have also the cube, the circle. For example, you can very easily create some cube with that. If you want to create your own Minecraft style, you can do it very easily with this brush. Mm. So I'm using this brush a lot. And I'm also using the libraries because I'm I'm putting some asset on it. For example, if I need a, a sun, directly I can, I can put it on that. Did it click to the right pixel? Sorry? Did it click to the right pixel? Yeah. OK. And Just making sure. You can, you can also. You do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, OK, so how, how do I work? I, so there, here is a one pixel brushes, but is. Here it is. So, for example, if I want to create, let's create a, a background, okay, with a mountain. Maybe not black. But I will, first of all, create very quickly a sky. Oh, it's not a blue sky. It's a, it looks like a gummy, a gummy color. Uh, we'll find a blue one. Okay, like that. Okay, I can now add a new layer. Of course, you can create pixel art with very, very simple application, but to be honest, having layers, having mm -hmm. 
some adjustment like uh, 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 to add shadow, you just have to use, uh, uh, I don't know the word in English for uh, obscurity, uh, it's uh, darken. 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 Yes. You can use the darken, uh, I will show you how to use mm -hmm. this. So, for example, here is the sky, here is the mountain, okay. And so did you just select the pixels with what tool? With the, with the traffic one tool? Just uh, with uh, on the keyboard with uh, B. Yes. And E to erase. You have to set the eraser to, uh, to pen. Okay. And there is a, a lot of different things to, mm -hmm. to, to, to set. For example, the paint, you have to say uh, zero and to cut out the aliasing yes. uh, to it else you will have some blurry pixel and it's not what you want. So I can create very quickly. Okay, another really good thing is to, to use, let's, let's say I will want to do a cloud very, very quickly. Okay, now this, the really cool thing is using I will put it on a new, oh, it didn't select just the cloud. Okay, so uh, now I have the cloud just on a layer, yes, and I will transform it into uh, a dynamic uh, object. Uh, um, smart object. Smart object. Smart object. And really, really powerful to use smart object when you are creating pixel art because you can, with that, if I'm duplicating the, the cloud, I have another one here, another one here. And if I want to make some change, I just have to change one of the cloud and this will change all the cloud on the pictures. So let's do that like that. Very quick. trying to do it quickly. Let's say, for example, I want to add some shadow on the cloud. I just have to save this one, and it it will update all the cloud mm. into into uh, the pictures. And that's it's, what we call them smart objects. Yes, it's yes. a really, really useful uh, way of doing things. For example, if you are creating some building, you just have to create one window and just mm -hmm. duplicate it as a smart object. And uh, if you have to change something, just change one. And yes. it's, it's really useful. Um, okay. And, and Ryan says, now I have the Super Mario Bros. 3 music playing in my head. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I understand <laughs> you because I'm a, a huge fan of chiptune music, but it's another ch subject, yeah. but I can also talk about chiptune music, yeah. Um, here are the cloud. So now take the eraser, bigger one, okay, and let's add some shadow. So to add some shadow, I can create a new layer, Darken opacity around 50, 49. I'm selecting a very dark blue because in uh, black doesn't really exist into the mm -hmm. shadow. It's dark, dark blue, but not black. And so link to this one and it, it's going to be very easy to, to add shadow that way. Because back in the day, when you want to create a shadow, you, you was obliged to select the darker color mm -hmm. and to, uh, to draw one by one, and the darker one, the darker one, and so on. So it's, and it's, uh, I can adjust, of course, if I want, so it's, it's really cool. But I would say even that back in the day, you would have to, to code that pixel by pixel. Yeah. Right? It wasn't just easy like that. No, 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 or no, no. with the mouse and it's, things it's, like that. It's easier now, but it's, yeah. it's good to know. It's good to know how to do that yeah, the, yeah. The, the the old uh, the old way. Mm -hmm. But uh, we we also <laughs> want to to be uh, free. It's not a torture. You have yeah, to yeah, to, yeah. to have a lot of fun. So use use the tools you have to to, to adapt them to create pixel art.
Um, okay, so we we can do add some rock maybe. We can add add some rock. And another thing is to to create the aliasing. Uh, aliasing. What is the aliasing? It's uh, the, a mix between two colors to operate a, trans a visual transition between mm -hmm. them. So, for example, if I'm taking this one, I want this one to look more smoother. I have to to say it's white. So, to take a color in between and to put some pixel not. All around, it's mm -hmm. it's a technique, not all around the the shape, but just like that. And visually, you will have mm. something more more smooth. Yes, it's it's smoother there. So it's another technique to know. Um, what can I show you? Time. Technology has moved on, says Stewart. Yes. Yes, you're right. Thankfully. <laughs> you're right. Yes, thankfully. But I'm still uh, creating pixel art with some uh, mi millimeter, millimeter paper. Okay. Yes, yeah. just oh. with a pen. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, while you're on the phone or... <laughs> That's it. In a boring meeting? Uh, no boring meeting for the moment. No time okay. to be bored. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, it's really cool to do that. Okay, okay let's, uh, let's add more shadow on that side. And Sir to say, how would you create gradients, like pixel by pixel? Okay, good, 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 good question. Uh, it's the hardest part because to create gradient, you have to create what we call dithering. Dithering is the way of mm. of spreading pixel. I, I will show you, but you we have to spread pixel. Um, for example, if I want to create a gradient from this color to to white. Of course, you can select a lighter one, a lighter one, a lighter one. But I will, for example, take a color there. Okay. So now, if I want to 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 mix them and to keep a pixel art effect, because this is the thing you have to keep a pixel art effect. So you click on this one and you one. One, 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 okay. Mm. And the other line you have to spread more, because that would be, go like this. So with this one, I will do the same with a lighter color. All these shortcuts. Yes. You, you, ah. you have to know them. Okay, and to finish, you can imagine this one. So you will keep the pixel and the whole uh, pixel effect. Mm. Okay, okay. And you have a gradient. Mm. And Ryan and PJ say that um, they used to doodle in the margins of their notebooks during class. It actually helped them retain the lecture better than taking actual notes, making little doodles and things. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a solution. You're right. Mm -hmm. I, I'm also doing that. Uh, when, if you see my notes, there is more drawing than notes, but uh -huh. the whole things makes me remind what, uh, what we said, what mm -hmm. was the idea behind the, the speech. Um, so here is a gradient. Uh, it's, it's very long to create a gradient uh, yeah. because I can't for the moment uh, have a brush to do that. So mm. I'm, I'm thinking of, of this. Uh, so How would you say this is different than pixelating an image? Oh, you can try to pixelating an image. You will have a very specific result because you, you still see mm -hmm. it's a, it's a real picture behind. Okay. It's, a, it's a, exactly the same difference like 
drawing portrait mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or taking a photo of a portrait. Okay. It's mm -hmm. not the same thing. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can apply a filter of drawing on a photo, no, you, no. you still see that it's mm -hmm, a photo. Mm -hmm. okay. it's, it's exactly the same. Um, another trick that I'm using, uh, I have personally a lot of uh, pixel art type typo, but you can use every typo as mm. pixel art. It's a, a good thing to know. For example, and by the way, about pixel art, does, uh, Sean is asking, do, do you see do you see in pixels? Sometimes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like no, that. I don't see in pixel, but every time I can imagine pixel art. Uh, for example, when I walk uh, down the street, mm -hmm. the, if I see some some square on the floor, of course, I'm thinking about, okay. about pixel art. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, if you want to use any typography as a pixel typography, it's really easy. You just have to select the typography you want. For example, the Myriad Pro, and just to uh, in English, uh, this is uh, without maybe or without what? Uh, without uh, did, um, uh, smoothing. Ah, smoothing. Yes. Yeah, without smoothing. This is the first option, and it's it's okay. You will have your your pixel art typography. You can do the same with other typography, for example, uh, a more complex one. And this is how the first fonts looked like, really. Yes, you know? like sure. The, what was they called? Um, oh my. I can't remember. You in the chat, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Please help, Rufus. If somebody was there in the early 90s, late 80s, there were these fonts that w then we had to stop using because they became vectorized. Um, because fonts were pixels. Bit, bitmap fonts? Bitmap fonts, that's right. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so you just have to pixelate your, your card, your layer, sorry. And you have to adjust uh, by the end, uh, one by one, to recreate the, the right. Because it, mm -hmm. it was a very specific uh, typography. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a cool thing to, to do. Uh, another trick is. If you want to create pixel art and you want to print it, you, you should uh, multiply only by two, four, six, eight, ah, or something like otherwise that. Otherwise, it dithers or it gets, it gets it, fuzzy? It, it will, uh, and the other thing is to keep uh, nearest, uh, in English, uh, nearest. Uh, it's, it's not, not it's big a, cubic. It's a resampling. Yeah. It's Nearest neighbor, I guess. Yeah, this is it. So that means that you you will be able to add, for for example, four hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. It's blurry. So now, if you uh, okay, I know why. It's because there is a sun came from the library, ah. and it's it's. Uh, I have to pixel the car. And Nearest neighbor. There you go, yes. Phil. Thank you. And now I can do the upscale. And this is still mm -hmm. pixel art, and pixel art still square. Because, for example, if you do 150%, pixel are not square anymore. Ah, yes. So if you plan to print something, the, the best advice I can give you is to, to start a new project with a 75 pixel per uh, inch because if you multiply by two it, it, it will be 150 mm -hmm. and by two 300 which is a mm. good right a good uh, good resolution for printing mm. yeah that's it um, there is a lot of tricks I can I can, mm -hmm. I can give but I will need more time to that uh, but I think I think I think a very important thing is to Build a library of things that you can yes. that you can use and reuse um, yes. because you know yeah even like stones or things like that that are generic elements you can just throw them in and you're yes, done with yes yes and yeah. for for example I I create a library with mm -hmm. of course on my brushes but also some color of the the typical uh, mm -hmm. old computer Commodore sixty four uh, this is ah. a, a classic. Uh, uh, 32 color Game Boy. If you want to create Game Boy, you can directly have your Game Boy color CGA for the oldest and uh, MO5. This is crazy stuff. Are you sharing these? Are, are they uh, available oh, somewhere? It, I will. 
Okay. I will. But I can give you a website. You have ah, where, where, yes. they ha where they have all these colors? Yes. Let me yeah, but it's so useful. It's, it's already in a library. So. Yes, yes. Mm. But there is a, a website with uh, these things, but a lot of tools around pixel mm -hmm. art and online tools to, to make some difficult operations. And did you ever do. think of using Illustrator for pixel art? Um, I tried, but it's not so easy to prepare. Uh, I, I didn't find the, the the right way to do it, to be honest. Okay. But I think it's it because they have pixel snapping, which drives everybody yes. crazy, right? Yes. yes. And <laughs> uh, when when I saw the Muscatan uh, uh -huh. uh, stuff, I, I thinking of adding a lot of detail into uh -huh, uh -huh. pixel art. Yeah, 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 so yeah. I will seek on something oh, in okay. that way. I, uh, I I will try. I will try. Okay. I have to. All right, maybe one last tip for our audience here on Adobe Live. We're live from off this, uh, this today. Is it what, Friday? Yeah. Friday already, yeah. yes. One uh, last tip. Um, it's more an advice. Uh, don't hesitate to create a lot of things, to try different size, to store in the library. Mm -hmm. Use Please use the library. It is so efficient if you have to, to share with a friend and to reuse your tools. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is really one of the most important things for me in Photoshop are the libraries and uh, the smart object mm -hmm. for the pixel art. And with that, my friends, thank you, Olivier, thank you, for, uh, for this great presentation.